everyone, thank you so much for coming. My name is Brad Volan and I am the director of How's Working and Healthy. And we are here to celebrate the hard work of a bunch of graduates. Uh, we've got a slideshow inside that I need to remember to turn on and I'll do that after the graduation ceremony. And we've also got drinks inside. So uh, we will get started in just a second. celebrate these five fabulous, incredibly strong and courageous individuals and their hard work over the last couple of months. Again, my name is Brad Volin. I'm the director of House Working and Healthy. We are a uh, workforce training program and wow, what a beautiful day on this Thursday in October. Is it warm enough? It's just amazing, isn't it? It, uh, a day like today is beautiful in so many ways. And just a, a quick sidetrack story. Some of you may know that I ride my bike to the office here at the kitchen just about every day. And it's not only wonderful because it's a great way to start the day and have great exercise, but also I ride along Bear Creek Trail, which is just at the bottom of the hill. And often, it's a great reminder for me because not every day, but I would say most days when I'm on my bike, I pass someone that is sitting on the side of the trail. And they sometimes look like they are not in a good situation. And in fact, this morning, I was actually a little late because, and some of you may notice I just barely got to our morning meeting on time. And that was because on my way in, someone was flagging me down because they said there was a person just up ahead that needed help. So we called 911 and this person was getting help. She said that she had fallen off her bike, but I didn't see any bike. And this person looked to me like someone who was perhaps struggling in maybe a variety of ways. And uh, needed help. And it was a dramatic reminder to me of the challenges that so many of us face in life. Here's a woman that uh, uh, was obviously by herself and alone, and the bike trail is not near any streets, and so there's not always a lot of people nearby to get help. And I thought to myself, what, what type of society do we live in when there are so many people that need help and so many of us have lots of challenges and barriers to succeed successfully in life and it's such a wonderful thing to come here then after that and to see today 19 hardworking people that are new starting early. We've got 19 people here showing up every day because they want a new start in their life. And these are people in all different stages of life. We've got young people, we've got older people, and today especially we are celebrating these five that have uh, achieved a tremendous milestone and uh, that is a culmination of a, a lot of work in so many different ways. It's a lot of work in our workforce training program, which is Obviously, all about culinary, so they've learned tremendous different skills that are now prepared them for employment. But our program goes well beyond just culinary skill training. Our program talks about uh, all 
many different things in terms of mental health, workforce preparedness, job training, interview skills, budgeting, how to deal with uh, different types of challenges in life, whether it's anxiety, whether it's um, getting knocked down and how to stand right back up the next day, and resilience and courage. So, so many different things. And I'm really proud of what, what all of you have accomplished. And it goes by the hard work of, of you individually and also the staff. So I'd like to, at this time, recognize a number of the staff that we have. First of all, we've got two tremendous instructors in culinary, Chef Billy and Chef Chai. We've got two incredible case managers, Rita and Nicole. Like I mentioned, a lot of what we do here is uh, specific culinary training, but also a lot of what we do goes well beyond that, and that's where the case managers come in. We also get people here every day through uh, our van and Tracy. Appreciate all your help, Tracy, not only with the van, but in so many other ways, like today, where you're helping set this all up, as well as get us live on Facebook. So I appreciate that. Ms. Joy and Gary running out our outreach team. These are the folks in the community that are uh, telling our story, meeting new students that can come in and also take advantage of getting a new start on life and uh, be on their path towards self-sufficiency through workforce training and then employment and then ultimately housing. But beyond our staff, we wouldn't be here without our volunteers, so uh, keep raising your hand, shower. Uh, the number of things for us here, we really appreciate it and have to read it. Al. Al does a tremendous amount for our website, our database, which keeps track of all of our information, and a number of other things. So thank you both. There's a, uh, probably 20 plus active volunteers that help us get this work done each and every day. And then lastly, our funders. Uh, so important that as a nonprofit, we can uh, do what we do only because of funders. And we have Foundation Funders, uh, Antrix Foundation, Daniels Foundation, Ford's Foundation, Richard Reed Foundation, and soon to be many additional foundations as we continue to grow our program. But also a number of individuals that have said they want to make a difference and be part of the impact here and helping these people uh, along. And they're all listed in the back of your program. I encourage you to take a look and if you know any of those individuals, I have a way to uh, thank them for the super. At this time, I'm going to pass the mic over to our instructors. They've got some awards for our students. Our first award is for Katie. Katie, we gave you the Endure Award. Um, all the students know that Katie's very loud and fun to be around, and she's kind of been on the verge of not being part of the program. And the last couple of weeks, she's really turned it around and showed us that she wanted to be here and wanted to graduate. And we're very proud of Katie for making it through and getting done. Yes. Next award goes to Fran. Fran will give you the Baker Maven Award. Fran, it's been a pleasure working with you. You always ask great questions, not only for culinary, but for just advice as well. So I appreciate uh, you listening. And Fran has definitely taken a, uh, a fancy for a baking, so she's been working a lot with Chef Chai. And we hope the best for you to take decorating or baking or whatever it may be. We gave you the Observer Award. <laughs> so Liz is kind of like myself in a lot of ways. She likes to sit back and observe and see what's going on. And then like a snake, she attacks to whatever she wants to do. Um, I really appreciate all the extra help from the kitchen. Liz has always kind of been an uh, uh, uninformal sous chef. Had some experience in the past proving that you want to do it. Barb, this is my favorite award. Tasty Fingers. <laughs> uh, 
um, all the students know that Barb cannot keep her fingers out of her mouth because her food is so delicious. Yes, she washes her hands, everything is sanitary. Um, but Barbara, very happy to see you graduate. You've done such a great job. Um, you are, you get along with everybody and that's gonna go far. Congratulations. And last but not least, Mr. Dan, the silent assassin. <laughs> Dan and students probably don't know, but all the staff get together twice a week and just make sure that everyone's doing what they're supposed to do. And every single meeting, we say Dan the man because Dan is the man. You get in here, you get everything done, you do more than is expected of you, and we're very proud of you. Congrats. And now for the case man. All right, so I'm going to start with Dan um, and just echo what Billy said about us all calling Dan, Dan the man. Um, Dan shows up every day with a great attitude and a willingness to work and achieve his goals. And it's no surprise that tomorrow, Dan actually starts his orientation for his full-time job. <laughs> so it has been such a pleasure to work with you, Dan. And um, Dan just shows up every day being pleasant and kind to everybody. And I remember one day when there was just a little bit of drama among some students, and it was like the only day that Dan wasn't here. And <laughs> Nate said, you know who I miss today? I miss Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan, thank you so much for just coming every day with a great attitude, and congratulations on your graduation today. <laughs> well, that worked out well. <laughs> And then Liz. Um, Liz, when you first started, I remember you weren't feeling very well. And so Liz actually had to miss several days in the beginning. And Rita and I were a little bit worried because we were like, oh man, we know when students start and then they have to stop. It can be so hard to come back and get into the swing of things. But Liz was back as soon as she felt better. She kept in contact every day. Um, and it has been just such a pleasure, Liz, watching you work so hard to achieve your goals. Um, and today when I was asking Liz, you know, how do you feel about graduation? Because it can be a big day, it can be scary. Um, and Liz said, I came here to complete a goal, and I did. Um, and so thank you, Liz. It's been so good working with you. And I know that whatever goal you set next, you will certainly achieve it. Congratulations. Day and Miss Joy told you about our program, um, and you came in all bubbly, all curious, all curious, and really excited to learn. And there were some days when you weren't sure that you were going to make it, and there were some days that you thought about dropping out. But then you were like, "Why? Like, what else have I got to do?" And you wanted to cook. You had always had part-time jobs and you were like, this is going to make me able to work full-time and not just seasonal. Then you started baking and you were like, oh, this has got more possibilities and you got more excited. And at that point, I could not slow you down. You were like, always like, what's next? Okay, my resume's done. And then you were always fixing your resume. I was like, stop fixing your resume. And then you're like, okay, I'm ready to do this and I'm applying for jobs. And you were just go, 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 go. And you were so excited, and it was just such, so much fun to watch you go from being not sure if you should be here and what this was all about to being excited, and then to just go rogue on me. And I was like, stop, slow down. I can't keep up with you, girl. So um, I wish you just the best, and I know that you're going to take all of that energy of yours and all of that enthusiasm that is contagious with your smile and your laughter and you're going to be very successful wherever you end up in your job. So, congratulations. We're lucky to have Rita. <laughs> Bob, I met you and, um, and I remember singing the song Ba 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 I'm thinking this lady's going to be so much fun in the picture. And you are. And one day she came in wearing a wig and I didn't even recognize her came to find out that you have a collection of wigs 
And sometimes you would wear them and I'd ask you, who are we feeling like today? And you'd say, Barbara, Babette, Barbie. And your wigs kind of like represented like how you were feeling that day. I am very, very happy to see that you know, wore no wig today because to me that says, I am Barb and I did this program on my own. I completed it and I have a job possibility and I have a future. And while she was here, she also got housing. So there's like this whole world of security that is coming your way. And um, you're connected with your family and so many good things have happened since you've been here. And I just know that no matter if you're Barb or Bobby or Babette, you are going to just have so much fun and bring so much dedication to um, whatever job you end up being awesome. So good luck, and I know you'd be so awesome. Katie. What can I say about Miss Katie? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Um, as Billy said, she has some rough moments, and we worked through them. And um, so happy that you made it, and that you were determined, and that you were like, I want to graduate. That was your goal. And you had to buckle up and you had to start doing things a little differently. You showed up and you showed us you could do that. And it has been so much fun working with you. And you definitely keep me on my toes. <laughs> and um, I love our conversations. Thank you. And I love your laughter, and I love your sense of humor. And I know everybody doesn't get your sense of humor, but I really enjoy it. So I have just really enjoyed with you, working with you. I'm very proud of you, and I know that we will find the right match for you also, and you will be successful also. So you all look beautiful. Dan, you look very handsome. It's been a pleasure working with all of you. I love you all, and I know you'll all be successful. my turn. I am so privileged to be part of this organization that is relatively small still but growing dramatically but I'm in the kitchen my office is right uh, next to the kitchen and I've got a big glass window and an open door so I've been so privileged to not only spend my time on the phone and on emails which is most of the time but also get to know each and every one of you, at least a little bit. So, I too remember Liz uh, early on, and you shared that you had uh, quite a bit of experience in culinary. And I remember talking about, well, why is this program for you? And how can we help you? And uh, you shared a number of different things, and it was a reminder that, you know, to succeed in life and to be able to get a job and also keep a job entails many, many things. And first and foremost, yes, you need the skills. And uh, there was a little bit of skill sharpening, so to speak, part of the fun. That was for you, Julie, uh, that needed to happen. But also a number of other things. And so I hope this uh, last couple of three months has been effective. It sure seems like you are beyond ready. And you've got uh, in exhibit so much confidence. I think perhaps, uh, if I dare say, more confidence than, than you may think you have. And it comes across. And so, so excited to see uh, over the next week or two this employment process proceed for you. And I know you're going to be fully employed very, very soon and on the next steps on your path. And we're um, proud and honored to be a part of that so thank you for letting us share that and it's been fa fabulous to work with you you are a calming influence in the kitchen show lots of leadership for other students and uh, it's been great 
Okay. And for Katie, we've had a number of conversations, and I also have uh, appreciated your uh, sense of humor more, and it is wonderful. You have, uh, as I've thought about it, different barriers to employment that I don't always appreciate. Uh, your language barrier is one that you work carefully on to understand uh, directions and other things. And sometimes it seems like your English is better than others. Perhaps. So that's that's been interesting for me to, to understand what what conversations and what parts of conversations you uh, internalize. Yes, yes. And I think the the culture and the style of communication also that you have can be some kind of barrier because not everyone may understand your style of conversation and that can uh, prove to be very helpful and effective for you because you can have leadership and initiative with that but sometimes it can be a challenge uh, and, and if that's something that you work on and you have uh, health issues I know your knee has bothered you at times other things have bothered you at times and we are a working life kitchen and then your health is not all there, it's hard to not be effective in the kitchen. And some people would, that might happen, and that might uh, deter them, or it might uh, make them less, less committed. But for you, you get some ice on that knee, you rest it for a day or two, and then you're okay, and you're back in there. And I hear from the chefs how uh, fast you are, and your life skills are so accurate. And so uh, I'm uh, so proud of you because uh, you came earlier in the year, back in February, and evaluated the program. We were here for a few weeks, and then decided the timing wasn't right. So to come back in July and say, now I'm ready, now I'm going to do this, is uh, just another example of your determination. And it's that determination that I know gets you through some of the type of days. I think it's going to be so much part of your success. So I'm um, very, very proud of your commitment and your strength and continue to come up. Okay. And Bob. Bob, uh, I got to know a little bit more because I also was able to help her out with some furniture donations earlier on. Uh, as Rita mentioned, when she got housing very early on in the program, which is just so tremendous. And, uh, and that was really enabling for you. And I remember we had a few conversations because now that she had housing, that took away quite a bit of the urgency of when I getting work. And uh, so that was a question for you. How much do you need to earn? And how, what's the best way to do that? And uh, there were times when I think you thought, well, maybe maybe I don't need to do that right now. And so you thought that, well, maybe, maybe I don't need to continue the program right now. And we had this kind of little side deal that everyone may have been aware of. But I said to Bob, you know, when we're doing this donation, usually we help out with housing and furniture and donations at the end. But to do this up front, I need you to commit. I need you to commit that you're going to stick to it and graduate and look at you. Here you are. You promise and you keep your word. And keeping your word is a sign of integrity and is, is what makes you uh, so determined and, and just so excited because I know that that's, that's uh, a big factor in your success. And you're, you've got that. We're going to have another side deal here shortly about your employment. And I, I know we don't even need it though because I know you are committed to getting that job and you've talked about the different jobs and you've got one. Um, hopefully later today we'll hear some more news on and it's going to be just a perfect fit for you. And I'm just so excited to have gotten to know you and be a part of this journey. It's been a journey, as I said, in, in so many ways, I think, physically, uh, skill-wise, uh, with your family, and uh, mother housing. It's just so meaningful to see your whole life uh, unfold in such a positive way now at this point. And uh, it's beautiful and wonderful. So thank you for your uh, continuation and determination.
Dan, and I'm going to know you quite as well, because Dan, like you said, is always just uh, here every day, no questions, and steady, and uh, no issues, no challenges. So sometimes my office can be kind of like the principal's office, but often it's loud, it's so more about uh, all the positives and getting to know people, but I haven't, uh, you haven't taken advantage of that quite as much as some of the others. So, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, your new position because this new job that you have is actually really close to my house, proximity one. So I'm going to be able to keep my eyes and, and see how uh, all the success uh, and one of their dishes is one of my daughter's favorites. So we will definitely be in and be able to see your continued success, not only with employment, but I know you've got lots of ambitions and plans shortly after that to continue with housing and uh, in so many ways you have a classic picture perfect example of what we want to do with this program and the type of people we want to help. So uh, I'm proud of you as well for your commitment and showing up every day and getting the job done and doing it uh, with a smile on your face and helping others as, as I mentioned earlier some of the others you demonstrate a lot of leadership in the kitchen, and I know a lot of students look up to you, and uh, it's just an absolutely wonderful to have you in the book. And Fran, I've had the privilege of so many fun conversations with you as well. Not at all in the principal's office type of way, but uh, you've often shared some of your passions and dreams with me, and here's a person uh, excelling, graduating in a program, and author, also an author. So she's written a book, so she demonstrates in so many ways the vast talents and experience that all of our students bring uh, when they come here. And uh, you've done so many things already with your life that are incredible and big achievements, and you're continuing that. Uh, sticking with this program, and also, uh, as, as you mentioned, and the chefs finding a new passion for baking and piping, and uh, we'd be able to uh, provide some of your personal love in your food. Food baking is just a wonderful art form, I think, and a wonderful way for you to live out your, your dreams. So, I'm also so proud of you for uh, sticking to this program and showing up. You, you're typically that perfect attendance too. And I know there's been many days where that uh, was hard. And uh, it was perhaps a little bit of a struggle to uh, come in, but you do it and you show up and you get the job done. So congratulations to you and I'm excited for your future. So now, we get to the fun part. If you can open up your certificates and display them to the audience, and we will say all together, or I will say, uh, oh, turn you upside down, let's put you right side up, there you go. So, as the Executive Director of How's Working and Healthy, it is my official pleasure to uh, designate all of you as official graduates of our program of the curriculum phase. Congratulations. So this certificate is a completion of the curriculum, which shows that they have uh, mastered all of the different types of culinary basic baking and cooking skills that we do here in our program. The next phase of our program is the employment phase, and so they will be receiving their certificate of completion soon. Each of them, uh, that should be happening literally in the next couple of days, as you heard, and in some cases a week or two, but they're all going away towards uh, working, and we are so proud of them, and that will then earn them their second completion uh, for the program. At this time, uh, it's customary that we have the graduates share anything that they would like, as well as any other students in the room can write, so uh, we can start with the graduates. I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of this program. I think about people who need more. I think about the and Yeah, 
good day. Different skills, I think I did. And uh, hopefully the job was great. And then I was speaking on the other show. And uh, I really enjoyed working with everybody here. Thank you. Okay, thank you for having me on. Okay, many of you know Bill St. John. He is a big supporter of everything we do and a, and a big volunteer here every Friday for Chowish and also typically judging for Iron Chef. And he asked me to read this to you. Hello, Katie, Fran, Dan, Barb, and Liz. Congratulations on this great day for each of you. I am sorry I cannot be here today in person. I need to take things much more slowly now after my recent surgery. But I asked Brad to read this to tell you how proud I am of each of you. 
You've grown so much in the past weeks that I have gotten to know you. You've learned many new skills. You're standing on your own two feet in front of a whole new wide world. I will see you tomorrow if you're here. With affection, Bill St. John. Anybody else have anything they'd like to share? All right. Quick shout out. There's one other person that I wanted to acknowledge. Uh, I got a few thanks up here, which I appreciate. Thank you. But realize that um, this is not uh, a, a dream of mine that I do alone. My lovely wife, Julie, is there. And if you could just raise your hand, and uh, she's the reason that I'm able to do this. So thank you for all your kindness, your support, and your love uh, for helping us get all this done together. Julie. Oh, she's beautiful. All right. <laughs> With that, if you could turn to the back of your program, and we have our pledge that we will say together. And we'll do it on the count of three. One, two, three. I take pride in my home. I am discovering who I am. I am finding that I matter. I am learning what matters to me. I pay attention to what I feel and what I need. And the choices and decisions are good for me. I take good care of my body. I stand up for what I believe in. I let people know what I think, even when I'm angry or confused, unsure or in disagreement with everyone else. I am a valuable community member. I know I can make a positive difference in the world in my own unique way. Wonderful. And we've got some nice gifts for each of you. Inside your gift bag is your shirt, which now says graduate. If you can hold that up for everyone to see. We have an official thermometer for your continued culinary expertise. And also an official black chef's jacket. We have a culinary cooking book that is produced through Emily Griffith Technical College, which is our partner in developing our program and our curriculum. We do a lot of work, including writing. We have a writing workshop. So here's your own notebook to continue journaling. And when you're working, I know you'll be getting up early often, so you've got your own personal coffee cup. And there are cows working and healthy spoons for each of you as well. And lastly, a gift card. So there's uh, a 